Hello, my Sock Universe, to the Serie A review. Yes, we had an exciting game between Inter and Atalanta. We had a Roman derby. We had Juve getting a Pyrrhic victory. But all that I'm talking about is, is what I call Maldini 3.1. And that's where we start. Daniel Maldini, the third generation Maldini, scores his first goals, hence 3.1. Uh, also wearing number 27, which is my fav favorite number. I mean, uh, I saw the lineup. I don't know, every. I, I wish I would have written it down, but it, literally I thought it would be great. I have a feeling he might score. Uh, wouldn't, it, uh, you know, wouldn't it be great? I, I saw the lineup, that it would be great if he would score, uh, if they would get something going. I had a feeling that, you know, of course, the first start, he's not playing great and I'm not expecting anything big from him at this moment. He's 19 years old, he's an offensive player, he plays in the hole and so on. We have to see how he develops. However, um, you know, the game itself, it was nothing to write home, home about, except that Milan came back uh, to win it. They got the first goal after the half, after the half that was so, so, and so. And that Maldini headed it in. I mean, this was such a beautiful story. You could see his father, Paolo, my favorite player. Here he is. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've never seen him so smile. You could see the pride of a father, Balisan. I think this, this, I think, gave him more joy than almost any other goal there that is going. I mean, seeing your own ch uh, children do so, something, this must have been really, really special. Again, uh, it made me super happy uh, to see to, to see that, that then Spezia got an equalizer late, uh, which was probably not even undeserved, although it took a wicked deflection. Spezia was in there, they were fighting hard. Uh, it was, as I said, it was not a pretty, pretty game. So that uh, equalizer by Spezia wo uh, was, I think, deserved. What I also like of, of this game that Milan did not play in black but in white pants. And suddenly this jersey looks a whole, the whole kit looks a whole lot better to me at least. Uh, for me, Milan needs to wear white pants and wire wire shorts. So uh, that was also a beautiful thing to see. And what also was nice is that once the, the goal wall was scored, they brought on Brahim Diaz. And suddenly everything was kind of a little bit going uh, better. And Brahim. Another great player, same position as Maldini, of course, uh, gets the goal and I'm really, really excited about uh, Brahim as well. So a week with two wins, not glorious wins, but two wins nonetheless uh, in the books. Tough week ahead, Atletico Madrid and Atalanta. It's a tough pro program, I'm not sure how many points Milan will make in that one. I'm kind of hoping for two speculating with four and I'm not no, sure where I would like to see the points more uh, in the Champions League or in the league so I've uh, got to see. Atalanta though I showed that they're an absolutely uh, amazing team again that you have to take serious. Yes they found themselves down to a wonderful Martinez goal. Barella post the midfield was an absolute great 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 player. However Atalanta quickly far far on the back. Marvin Lovsk is another wide range shot and then uh, uh, Araba Andanovic gave Toloi the chance to uh, make it 2-1 for Atalanta. Inter on the ropes need to fight back. They get the equalizer through Jaco and then all hell broke loose. loose. First of all, Di Marco misses a penalty. Di Marco? Yes, exactly, because uh, <laughs> everyone, Cialanoglu was out, uh, who I think will take the penalty. The, 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 the I'm, I'm not sure, but Jacko is not taking it. In any, any case, he wanted to take it, put it on, on the bar. Then Piccoli scores two minutes later, a goal, seemingly the winner. Everyone says he's still celebrating, but then it sees that uh, Handanovic had cleared the ball, behind the line and I'm wondering why is he clearing it there maybe maybe he wanted to avoid the corner, corner kick then it should have been a corner whatever chances on both sides that game could have swung it was a very intense game uh best game of the weekend although it was not the most uh goal field game as you see Genoa at, uh, against Hellas was a 3-3 you will get a win second win second three to win second kind of labored win uh and a Pyrrhic week victory Dybala Bonucci from a penalty and um, a Locatelli score. However, Dybala had to come off with an injury already. Morata had to uh, was come, 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 come off with an injury later. Both will not be available for the games against Chelsea. And I think it's the uh, Turin Derby on the weekend. 
Yes, the Touring Derby, uh, they might not be, they will be available after the in, in the break. So despite the win, hard fought win, um, yes, they were twice, two goals up. It's not easy for Juve uh, to, to come by, they are still in a finding phase. Um, Fiorentina get another, get another win, also needs to be noted, Empoli get a win over Bologna, uh, pro, uh, so the promoted teams doing well as well. The Roman Derby, this was the one that, uh, yeah, uh, we came just home from the last game and said, no, perfect time for the Roman Derby. Yeah, it did not go necessarily the way that I wanted. Um, those goals came early. Uh, Milinkovic Savic in the 10th, and he totally, I mean, he ramped himself in and got almost knocked out. Gotta give his uh, some props for his, his guts, but for me, uh, the game turned uh, in the 19th minute. Where I think Zaniolo had a shot for a penalty that was not given. Lazio go the other way uh, down, Immobile to Pedro, and Pedro, of course, just went from Roma to Lazio. Roma didn't want him anymore, so he went to Lazio, scores the 2 to nil. And at that point, eee. however, Roma was coming right back. Zaniolo. And I think they had something very, 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 very similar against Udine, where he was a a corner, a, a, a where he heads it onto the post, and then cannot get the rebound in. Um, I think they hit the the woodwork once again, uh, and then from Ibanez just before the half they had it in, and it, I think in the second half, up until that point, I think Lazio played it really nice. They knew they can hit Rome on the count contract because they have some defensive frailties. In the second half, similar, but I also always thought that Roma is really getting very well back into the game, and it was a little bit of a fluke to me that Roma did not score. Uh, and then it's Anderson to make it 3-1, but uh, then a very doubtful penalty. I honestly have to say I didn't really see the contact, but okay. This one they get, they should, should have gotten the, the one before before it won, was to nil. I think then we would have seen in a completely diff, the different game. 3-2, but Roma cannot then find. Um, Lazio then played it home relatively safely, but it was one of those where I thought, hmm, yeah. Roma should not have lost that one, in a way. I did not feel them uh, worse than Mourinho, of course, gets a little bit crazy at the press conference because he didn't want to... He wanted to talk to the Germans themselves and uh, club Paul Paul policy is that uh, Lazio only goes through the press coordinator, which he didn't want to talk, talk to, blah, 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 blah. Yes, rivalry. Undeterred from all that, Napoli gets another win. 2-0 over Cagliari. Not much to talk, talk about, but Osimhen maybe getting one of the better strikers in there so i would say it was a rather exciting weekend uh the one before the break as i said there are big two two big games uh, maybe three even um so we have the Turin derby we have atalanta milan which is the big one but we also have fiorentina napoli which could be a very very interesting game there so so inter maybe maybe not we shall see in any case that was my thoughts another maldini has scored for milan so a now, it would be great if you can win the, Euro, the European Cup, but it's a whole lot of time to go. In any case, I would like to hear your comments uh, below uh, on the week, week in Serie A. Give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.